Message ads. Facebook and Instagram messages give your business a fast and convenient way for people to get in touch, to ask you questions about your products or services, and much more. Plus, these messages allow you to build a personal connection with your customers with a back and forth online conversation. You can create Facebook or Instagram message ads or WhatsApp ads that open in the messenger and starts a conversation between your business and your prospective customer. I like to compare messenger conversations to a mobile text message because the new message open rate is nearly 100%. Compare that to the dismal, very low email open rates of under 10%, under 5%, depending on the type of campaign you send and how warm your list is. Message ads are really untapped by most of my clients and Facebook ad managers in general. So I highly suggest you give them a test run for your business. When people see that message notification, they want to open it. So become that undeniable notification for your potential customer. So when a person clicks or taps on your messages ad, a conversation with your business will immediately open. The two main types. First, Facebook Messenger ads. This opens in the Messenger app itself. This is if a person is on a mobile device. Or it'll open a Messenger chat box if the user is on Facebook.com, such as a desktop computer. For Instagram Direct ads, this will open a Instagram Direct message within the Instagram app. The third type is WhatsApp. So just like Instagram, this is an app. So it will open on their mobile device and start a conversation with them within WhatsApp. So the nice thing about message ads is that the user can return to this message conversation at any time. Unlike an ad where they see it once and they're done, unless you retarget them with another ad, this conversation is there forever and you can continue to have a conversation with them and engage with them. So here's an example Facebook Messenger ad. A user sees your Messenger ad for 20% off your entire purchase in their newsfeed. So they click the ad, which opens a chat with your business, and then they can be sent an automatic message you create, including that coupon code and an automated personalized experience for your potential customers. So check out this example. Hi, and then you can personalize it with their actual name. Here's your coupon for 20% off when you visit us this month. Just show it to us at checkout, summer sale. So now you have a conversation open with this customer. You can come back in if they don't use it and be like, hey, only two days left for this code before it expires. Make sure to use it. You have that conversation line open with them. To create message ads, select the engagement campaign objective. Message ads help you get more people to have conversations with your business in Facebook Messenger, Instagram, or WhatsApp. We use message ads for our clients to complete purchases, answer their questions, and offer customer support. So the first option you need to select once you create this engagement campaign, under conversion location, select messaging apps. Now pro tip here, keep your campaign separate for each messaging app. So this means one campaign for your Facebook message ads, another campaign for your Instagram message campaigns. I like to keep my reporting separate and my split test separate. So I'll create visuals specifically for Instagram, visuals created specifically for Facebook. Everything separate. So first, as you can see, our ad type, I select click to message. Our Facebook page is Course Envy. And then for the messaging app, I selected Messenger. That is the Facebook Messenger. And that is linked with the Facebook page. So when they message you directly via Facebook, it'll go to your Facebook page inbox. Next, you can select Instagram, which I've linked to my Facebook page. So because I've linked it, people can direct message my Instagram account. So I'll show an ad to people on Instagram. They can DM me, direct message me directly on Instagram. Finally is WhatsApp. 
when people click on this ad, it'll open a thread to message your WhatsApp number. Your ad will be shown to people more likely to message within WhatsApp. So in this lecture, I'm going to focus mainly on the two most popular message ads, which is Facebook Messenger and Instagram Direct. But that said, WhatsApp messaging has nearly as many users as Facebook. So really, depending on which country you're in and what messaging app most of your customers use, which will determine which type of messaging destination you'll choose for your message ads. So for example, I'm based in the US, most of my clients are in the US, I use Facebook Messenger and Instagram Direct most often. For the few India clients I have, WhatsApp is their most popular messaging app. So I exclusively use WhatsApp messages. So a quick pro tip for you, Google leading countries based on number of app users. So you can swap out that app name for anything. Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and various stat websites will let you know which country favors which app. For Messenger app ads, you have two ad types. First, click to message. Second, sponsored message. So let's start with a clicks to message ad to get the conversation started with potential customers. I see the best return on ad spend from message ads targeting a warm audience. This is an audience that's been to my website or engaged with my page or engaged with a past ad. I've collected all of these via a custom audience. One of my favorites, they visited the website, but I exclude all the people who bought. So this is a warm audience, but maybe they just have one question before they purchase. So this is a great area to split test with your message ads. I like to use this as the final push to help the customer with their concerns or questions before they make the purchase. Also on this ad set level, we'll select our placements. For this, I leave it as the default advantage placements recommended and again default for the optimization and delivery. We want conversations, so that's what I want to optimize this ad delivery for. Here's a message ad example to copy by Mobile Monkey. So instead of retargeting a warm audience like we like to do, they're targeting a cold audience, targeting the detailed interest small business owners via this message ad. They have a great attention grabbing image and ad copy that seals the deal with their value proposition. So since they're advertising a chatbot, they most likely are linking their chatbot with this send message message ad. We'll teach you more about chatbots later on in this lecture. Finally, at the ad level, for message template, we select start conversations. That is always the focus of message ads, conversation. As for our ad copy and ad visuals, typically this relates to the custom audience I'm targeting. Why has the user engaged with us? What is the audience? What are frequently asked questions other people ask? Get the conversation going. So at this ad level, under message template, select create new in the dropdown, and then we'll edit this conversation. The edit template pop-up will appear where you can edit the text, the customer actions, your reply. If you have a business phone number you want to include so they can call you, you can include that. 
So first in that text, that intro text, I like to personalize it with their first name. So Facebook automatically pulls that from their account. And then you can select your customer actions, such as frequently asked questions, something that relates to your brand or whatever your intro ad copy was. Maybe it was have a question about a product, click here to ask, and then you can prompt them with the three most likely frequently asked questions, or they can type in whatever they want. So if they click one of the FAQs, you can give an optional automated response. So in case you're not at your computer to reply, this auto response will reply. So it'll look like they're chatting with a real person. So if you have these common FAQs, great. But if you can at least leave your Facebook page inbox open while at work or have a dedicated customer service employee, maybe outsource this to Upwork so you can have a 24 seven virtual assistant, that's much better. So I'll select none here and then you manually reply. So you'll open up your inbox and reply to each person as they message you. So next let's create a sponsored message. So again, on the ad set level, under ad type, we've selected messenger apps, select sponsored message. Now notice on the ad set level under placements, sponsored messages are only for messenger app because remember, we're targeting people who have already started a messenger conversation with us. So on the ad level, you can again create a message template, including quick replies. Do you still have questions? Or maybe you have a new relevant offer and you want to re-engage this audience you've already had a conversation with. You can do that here. Another great option for sponsored message is connecting third party chat bots, which use artificial intelligence. Make sure to download the PDF for this lecture so you can navigate to these URLs where we have in-depth chat bot guides. Next, let's create an Instagram message ad. So at the ad set level, ad type, click to message, select our Facebook page, and then select just Instagram for the messaging app. So a pro tip here, we'll use Facebook message ads if our target market is over the age of 30, and we'll use Instagram message ads if our market age is under age 30. So just like our other message ad examples, tailor your ad copy to the custom audience you're targeting. Have they visited your website but not made a purchase? Prompt them with that via the text and then the FAQs in your message template. So for this example, we're targeting a custom audience who visited our Mod MBA course website but didn't purchase it. So they know our brand logo and they know our value proposition. So we make that apparent in our visual, our media, online MBA alternative. And then below it is our mod MBA logo, our primary text, stop sign emoji. Have you checked out our mod MBA program? Any questions? There's a reason they left. They came to the site, they were intrigued by something and then they left. Maybe they got busy with their life. Maybe they have a question. Let's answer that with this message ad. So some split test ideas, make sure to split test one campaign for Facebook and one for Instagram message ads. Then at the ad set level, I like to split test targeting. I want to target a cold audience for one, maybe just detailed targeting of small business owners. And then another one, I'll target a warm custom audience, such as people who visited the website but exclude buyers. Finally, you can split test the ad level, the ad copy, the images, and the message ad themselves. Remember one variable per campaign. So you can identify which variable is driving the most results. So once we reach 1000 impressions, I'll toggle off losing ads and scale the budgets for the winners. So how do you respond to all these messages? Go to your Facebook business page and navigate to the inbox page. This will direct you to the meta business suite inbox. 
This is at facebook.com slash your page username slash inbox. In the Meta Business Suite inbox, you can toggle between all messages, Facebook Messenger, Instagram Direct, and even Instagram comments and Facebook comments. You can reply to them all via the Meta Business Suite inbox. Now, before you create message ads, you need to be able to accept messages via your Facebook page. So under page settings, under general settings, messages, make sure to edit this so people can contact your page and enable messages. Also on your page settings page, navigate to Instagram in the sidebar and connect your Instagram account to your Facebook page. So they're linked. Now, if you can't be online or hire a VA to manage these messages, you can still be responsive via automated responses. This is via the automation option. So the two automated responses I use are FAQs, such as store hours, locations, and greetings. So instant replies if I'm gone or it's in off business hours, or an away message, I can create all these. So again, via your Meta Business Suite inbox, click Automations at the top of the page. On the Inbox Automations page, you can click the Create Automation button in the top and browse through all the various types of automations. One of the first ones I enable is the away message automation. So you can let your customer know you're going to get back to them ASAP. And I'll enable this for all my closed business hours. So if I'm open 9 to 5, I won't have my away message display. So I'm on the edit automation page for away message. First, I select my channel. Where do I want this auto message to send? For this, I only toggled Facebook Messenger. Next, I select when this happens. When I am away. So what hours am I away? from midnight to 6.30 a.m. And finally, what's the auto message? For me, I put, thank you for your message. We're away and can't respond right now. We appreciate you reaching out. So you can edit that and add personalization or your own custom text. Now, if you want an instant reply, no matter the time of day, I'll use the instant reply automation. So you can just toggle that on or click edit, but let's create a custom automation. So click that create automation button in the top right. And now you can scroll through here and look at all the various automations available. But the second most common autoresponder I use for clients is contact information. It's a great way to drive people to your website's contact page and get them browsing your website. So I toggle on contact information I select Messenger for the channel, type in my message, and I add the button Email Us, and I put in our website URL. So my message is, hi, thanks for contacting us. Let me know your question right here, or click the button below to email us. So that'll take them off of Facebook to my website, and I can track that via custom audience, even if they don't email me on my Contact Us page. And also make sure to make use of personalization. So just click that button in any of these message boxes to personalize your message. So for this example, I'm pulling the profile, username's first name to auto populate. So as you can see in the right side preview, hi, user first name, thanks for contacting us. So it adds that personal touch. Make sure to check out CourseEnvy.com for that chatbot ultimate guide.